Welcome. My name is MD Mahmoudul Hassan, Assistant Professor at Department of Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation, Potuakali Science and Technology University, Bangladesh. After this video, you will be able to explain the concepts, theories, and perspectives of urban, urban planning, climate change, and GIS remote sensing tools and techniques. Let's begin with a brief explanation of spatial urban planning and climate change. Cities are facing great challenges from rapid urbanization, climate change, and increasing pressure on societal services, including education, food assistance, healthcare, fire service, job training, subsidized housing, community management, etc. In the context of climate change, our urban areas are facing enormous challenges such as extreme temperature, unavailable drinking water, health impacts, flooding, sea level rise, storm surge, effects on biodiversity, tourism, and forestry. These vulnerabilities can be extended or triggered based on the agglomeration of people, urban activities, and infrastructure. However, the key determinants of climate change are population growth, pattern of economic activity, energy demand, building design, and infrastructure. Lifestyle, land use pattern, geographical location, and current climate policies, all of which are linked to the urbanization process. Therefore, spatial planning is significantly important for implementing mitigation and adaptation strategies and agreements formulated in local, regional, and international level. Now, I would like to talk about the fundamental aspects of spatial urban planning and climate change. Let me first explain the concept of urban. More than half of the population of the world is now urban and the numbers are increasing rapidly. Here, it becomes important to know how a population is classified as being urban. The simplest definition of an urban population is that of a population residing in a towns and cities. But the concrete technical definition of urban includes population size, density, economic base, and presence of a municipal, municipal body. Though there is no usual minimum number that can be put against these aspects, else no number are universally applicable all over the world. All countries have their own specification for each of these aspects, like in Australia, population cluster of thousand or more people with a density of 200 or more persons per square kilometer is known as town. Urban planning is also popularly known as city planning. It includes many different disciplines attempts to accomplish sustainable, user-friendly, economic, and social organization of all elements of a town, city, or any other urban environment. Urban planning concerns itself with both the development of open land and the regeneration of existing parts of the city. The first towns of human settlements were established when human society grown from hunting gathering to an agricultural one. Agriculture as an occupation required settling close to water sources that are needed for education. Thus, ancient civilizations such as Mohenjo-daro and Harappa in Indus Valley Egypt in Nile Valley, Mesopotamia in Tigris and Euphrates Valley during 3000 BC to 150 BC. In the 16th to 17th century, land occupation by communities or tribes for settlements became the primary objectives and thus cities start being planned as strongholds within walled enclosure. Most of the historic cities in India are actually ports and, or walled cities, such as Agra, Delhi, Hyderabad, Daulatabad, and Jodhpur. Urban planning transformed into its modern form 
going to the industrial revolution with the initiation of machine, new construction technology and cars. The scale of a town experience tremendous expansion in terms of having wider roads, taller buildings, spread out cities due to extensive railroad networks, huge industry cities. London is one of the examples of modern urban community. Climate change. According to IPCC, climate change refers to any change in climate over time, whether due to natural inconsistency or as a result of human activity. This definition differs from that in the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCC, where climate change refers to a change of climate that is credited directly or indirectly to human activity that alters the composition of the global atmosphere, which is observed over equivalent time periods. GIS, a geographic information system, is a computer-based tool for mapping and analyzing geographic phenomena that exist on Earth. GIS provides the facilities for data capture, data management, data manipulation, and analysis, and also the presentation of results in both graphic and report form, with a particular emphasis upon preserving and utilizing inherent characteristics of spatial data. And it is widely used tools for a special urban plan. Remote sensing. Remote sensing in the simplest word means acquiring information about an object without touching the object itself. Remote sensing can be defined as the technique recording an object by a device or sensor by measuring portion of reflected or emitted electromagnetic radiation from the earth's surface. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video.